Hey guys, this is Bobby with No Fish Charlotte. I'm coming to you from my own kitchen right now. And you might be wondering what I'm doing. I've got a big pot. Um, it seems a little weird. I'm at the stove, but it's all going to make sense in a second. Here, I don't know if you can see this on the video, is a pot of Pepsi. We have a 20 ounce bottle of Pepsi. This size, 20 ounces, is their standard serving size that they're trying to get people to buy at this point. This has become the consumer single serving. And I'm about to boil it. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's going to make sense in a second. All you got to do if you want to do this at home, make sure it's a well ventilated area, as I just found out, because it gets smoky in here. But all you have to do is put a 20 ounce bottle of Pepsi into a big enough pot, put it on the stove, set it to boil, and it'll start boiling. It's going to take a few minutes, but it'll start boiling. What you're left with is the high fructose corn syrup after all the water, all the carbonated water, boils off, and you're just left with the corn, the corn syrup. It's kind of disgusting. We're going to show it to you in a minute. Before we show it to you, let's talk about that corn syrup and let's talk about how much sugar is in each one of these drinks. You can see on a nutrition label of any drink, it lists all the ingredients, all the amounts of everything. Here at the bottom of this one, I'm not sure if we can get zoomed in enough, but at the bottom of this one it has sugars and that's what we're looking at. In one serving, it has 28 grams of sugar. That's okay because you have 40 allotted grams of sugar every day. However, if you look up at the top here, it says servings per container is two and a half. I don't know that many people who only drink a third of this container. Most everybody drinks the whole bottle. So when you drink the whole bottle, you don't get 28 grams of sugar. You get 69 grams of sugar, which is 30 grams over your daily allotment of 40 grams of sugar. That's a lot. Now, before we go on and we start talking about sugar, let me backtrack a little bit and tell you that the FDA recommends, ideally, that you only get 40 grams of sugar every day for a full-size adult. Some nutritionists, and it's actually not even some, it's a lot of nutritionists now are really stressing the fact that we don't even need any sugar in our bodies, and zero grams should be the daily allotment, and anything is in excess. So knowing that, and knowing that 40 is your daily allotment with the FDA, and the Pepsi is 69, let's go through some drinks here. I've put out plain table sugar to give you an idea of everything that we've got going on. First is the daily allotment, it's RDA, it's 40 grams of sugar here, you can see how high it goes there. That's our baseline that we're working with with all these cups. The next one we go to is vitamin water. Now vitamin water everyone regards as a health drink. It's just not. It is simply not. It uses high fructose corn syrup. The diet vitamin water, the vitamin water light or whatever uses aspartame, which we're going to talk about in a second. But vitamin water in one bottle here that you've drink, you know, you probably drink every day, has 33 grams of sugar, which is under the RDA, and that's okay if it's 33. But that better be the only sugar you're getting every day because if you have a piece of cake or a cookie or two, you've already gone over your 40 and you've, be, you know, you've missed the point anyways and you're kind of drinking more calories than you should be. If you're trying to lose weight and you're drinking calories and you're not losing weight, this is why. Because even one of these, which is a supposed health drink, is 33 grams of sugar. Moving to the next one is Snapple. This says all natural Snapple juice. You probably think it's healthy because it's juice. It's not diet soda, it's not regular soda, and it's not vitamin water. Snapple in one of these bottles has 54 grams of sugar, which is way over your daily allotment. And in this particular Snapple and in a lot of brands of fruit juice, it doesn't even have sugar. It has high fructose corn syrup, which if you've ever heard our videos, you've ever seen anything we've written, high fructose corn syrup causes liver scarring, cardiovascular calcification, a ton of problems, liver cirrhosis. I mean, it's a disgusting ingredient and it's artificial. So I don't know where they get off saying that this is an all-natural Snapple, but it's not. Anyways, it's 54 grams of sugar, 14 over your daily allotment. Moving next to Gatorade. This Gatorade here, this is a 32 ounce Gatorade. It has 64 grams of sugar in it. Now, that's way over your daily allotment, but even if we were to scale the Gatorade back, knowing that 32 ounces may be too much to drink, let's say you drink 20 ounces of Gatorade, just like you drank 20 ounces of Pepsi. Even in 20 ounces of Gatorade, there's still 40 grams of sugar, which is right on your daily allotment of sugar. This surprises a lot of people that Gatorade is not that healthy of a drink. If you're an athlete, if you're outside, if it's the summer, if you're training for a marathon and you lose electrolytes and you're sweating all day, you do need Gatorade to replace electrolytes and it is a legitimate sports drink. If you're not running miles a day or you're not playing a sport or you're not involved in very intense workouts and you're sitting in the office and you're drinking Gatorade, that may be a reason why you're not losing weight, why you're feeling more lethargic, why you get a sugar crash because it's got way more sugar than you need especially if you're inactive. The last one we're going to talk about here is the worst one. It's soda. I've got here 
Soda has a 20 ounce soda has 69 to 84 grams of sugar in every bottle. Now, like I said before, 20 ounces is what they're trying to. The soda industry is trying to make you drink now. In the 70s, it was an 8 ounce serving. In the 90s, it was a 12 ounce serving. It's now a 20 ounce bottle of soda, and I've even seen a 24 ounce bottle of soda pushed for the price of a 20. So they're really trying to push a higher bottle of soda because their price point has come down so much. This Orange Crush, it's one of the worst I've seen, has 84 grams of sugar in one 20 ounce bottle of soda. And again, it's in high fructose corn syrup. It's not even in real sugar. So you have all the liver scarring problems. You've got all the metabolic syndrome problems. You have all sorts of leptin sensor problems. Everything that comes along with high fructose corn syrup. But look at that, 84 grams of sugar in one bottle of Orange Crush. And you can go through that every day, not thinking about it, drink one a day and hit double your daily sugar intake. Now people say, well, why does this matter? You know, there's more to nutrition than sugar. I get this. There's more to nutrition than drinks, whatever. For a lot of people who are losing weight, and maybe you're one of them, you're eating right, you're exercising, you sleep more, you drink water. Even if you're doing all that, if you're drinking these every day, if you have one or two of these, you can be drinking your calories. We see this all the time. And people can't figure out why they're not losing weight, but they're having two sodas every day. Well, if you have two sodas every day and you have a couple hundred grams of sugar, that sugar is not, that's an empty calorie. That's not a nutritious calorie. Your body doesn't metabolize that. It becomes fat, especially when it's high fructose corn syrup and you don't lose any weight. That's kind of what we're looking at with sugar. If you're sitting at home, you've seen this whole presentation at this point, and you say, you know what, I drink diet soda. This doesn't apply to me. It's sugar-free, whatever. Let's talk about diet soda. Diet soda has been found that the participants who drink diet soda actually eat two-thirds more than people who drink regular soda. The University of Texas found that in 2009. The University of Purdue found that in 2005. And Texas found that in a different study in 2004. And the reason is you have sensors in your body called leptin sensors. And the leptin sensors tell you when you're full and you've had enough food and you stop eating. When you drink diet soda, it's got an ingredient in it called aspartame. Aspartame inhibits those leptin sensors. And so when you drink a diet soda for the rest of the day, those leptin sensors aren't working and your body can't tell when it's full and you keep eating. So it's not the soda itself that makes you fat like it is with, you know, Mountain Dew or whatever. It's the action afterwards because of what aspartame is doing to your leptin sensors. And it's creating what's called metabolic syndrome when you can't regulate how much you eat or how much you weigh. And thus people on diet soda actually gain more weight than people on regular soda. It's kind of a catch-22, if you will. It's dangerous. Anyways, back to the point of this. As you can see, this is starting to boil. It's smoking just a little bit. It's going to take a while. We didn't want you guys to sit here for 15 minutes and watch this thing boil, so we boiled one before the video started, and here it is. Let's zoom into this because it is disgusting. It is rock hard by now, as you can see. Just a minute ago, this was even congealed a little bit. This is the high fructose corn syrup that is left after we boiled all the water off that soda. It doesn't look good. It looks like tar. It smells horribly. This place stinks right now, and there's a lot of it. This is 69 grams of high fructose corn syrup that, as you can see, is boiled straight on into the pan. I don't even know how I'm going to get this thing off later, but I'll deal with that. This is what you're putting into your body every single time you drink a soda. So the next time you're about to grab a Pepsi or whatever, you know, whatever your product of choice, we're not just picking on Pepsi, think about this. Think about this segment that you've just seen, and hopefully you grab the water, which has zero grams of sugar. That's it for this one, guys. We're going to be debuting this whole situation on WBTV. Actually, by the time you put this video live on our website, the WBTV segment will have gone live on their channels, Channel 3 in Charlotte. And we'll put that segment up on our website and our media page when that goes up, too, to kind of let you guys see that we've done this elsewhere besides our own kitchen. That's it for this video. Stay tuned next week. We've got more on the street videos coming towards you guys. We asked a couple people in Burkdale Village about their soda consumption. It's kind of an interesting uh, test study, if you will, talking to random people on the street about soda. Thank you guys for watching and tune in again soon.